You guys, I'm back. The forming is done. Looks, uh, it's quite dry. It's been a couple of days. I've had to work and stuff. Looks like it's done pretty well. Take the gun out. Double check it again. Make sure it's not loaded. Oh, my arthritis is really acting up today, so I can't get everything quite the way I want to do it. We're empty. And let's see how she fits. Oh, I love that sound. Now everything will relax. When you hear that pop, you know you got it right. There's just enough forming here and around the trigger guard to just make it hang in there really good. Um, as the leather relaxes a little bit now, because it's been stuck in there with the gun inside a baggie, um, you know, there's you can tell there's a little bit of play here. There isn't much. Nothing to nothing to worry about. That'll go away. Um, as soon as the leather starts to relax a little bit more but we're ready to dye it now and uh, the first thing I like to do and I consider it a necessary step is to deglaze the leather this has kind of a it's almost like a, a glaze and I don't know that it hurts anything uh, I know that it's easier to dye when I do this step this is just a uh, regular 70% isopropyl alcohol, you can go to Walmart or your local pharmacy and get and I just kind of wipe it down and this seems to let the dye penetrate better uh, I noticed when I started dyeing after I started doing this my dye was a lot better and it doesn't take much just wipe it down We'll do both sides. And I don't know if it just breaks that, uh, you know, whatever they do when they uh, tan it. But that's all there is to it. Um, I'm going to give it about 10 minutes or so for the alcohol to evaporate off. Then we will. Uh, get it wet and start applying some dye. Alright guys, we're back. Um, I did decide I finally went and got some gloves. I did decide to just do this in black. Um, mostly because black goes with everything. <laughs> These gloves are nowhere big enough for me. Um, I've got short fingers but the rest of my hand is pretty big. I already ripped a hole in the darn thing, but that's all right. It ain't going to affect much. So, oh yeah, I got plenty of dye. I do need to cut me a new piece of rag. Uh, a lot of people use a dauber, just a wool dauber to apply their dye. I don't know. I kind of just prefer doing it this way because I can kind of work it in a little bit. But really everybody has their own preferences and this is the way that I like to do it. I'm sure others do it differently. So I got a little cup of water here. I always keep some right here on my bench. And I like to start on the back because if the die is going to be screwed up, I'd rather have it screwed up on the back. And I'm just going to kind of wet everything down. Now after the deglazing too, the water will soak in a little bit better. And you want the water to kind of soak in so that uh, your die can penetrate real well. we go now I gotta doing it this way is I do need to pay a little more attention to around the stitch lines and such and 
use a dauber, you just kind of goober on your die, as my wife would call it. I'm trying to get my wife to get into some videos, doing some cooking and stuff. She has agreed to do such, so we might be uh, getting the missus in here. And she's a wonderful cook and does some fantastic stuff. She wants to do a bread making video. Um, and she uses a few different things. We eat homemade bread. So, I mean, there's a reason I'm a fat man. And I just got to kind of cut back on some of those goodies. But, like I said, with the, uh, with the rag, I can kind of work it in. And it'll probably take a couple of coats. Usually does. You know what I'll do? I'll do the other side with the dauber so you can see that method too. Uh, and see the difference in it. I just kind of like this method because it lets me work the die into the leather and it seems to penetrate a little bit better. Now being that this is an alcohol based die It'll flash off pretty quick, and then we can give it a quick buff and uh, put another coat on. So, let that sit. Won't take but uh, 10 or 15 minutes to flash off, and we'll get that second coat on. It'll be very bad. Alright, it's flashed off. The alcohol is flashed off, so the dye is on. Now, just show you a little bit here. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but you can see, oh, that's great. You can see what happens when you buff that first bit off. That's why you buff it off before you apply the second coat, is because that uh, haze that's on there is excess stuff. So, and you don't want to reapply dye over the top of that. So, I'm going to finish buffing her off. It only takes a minute. Make sure you try to get into the little nooks and crannies of your stitching. Oh, well, I don't know how well you can tell. Got pretty good coverage. I'm, I'm happy with that and usually do get pretty good coverage on the first coat when I rub it in. If I don't rub it in, I don't, you know, always get such a good coverage. Uh, the daubers tend to leave more of that haze on there, but you'll see when I do that. So, I'm just going to kind of work in a second coat. this coat I'm going on pretty wet with. I'm not working it in a whole lot. So again we will let it sit a few minutes and then we'll do the other side. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to buff the back off. I 
and it looks really good it's black all right now we're gonna do the front like I said I'm gonna do the dauber um, so as always let's get it wet just like that there and it's just a simple little dauber pick them up at Tandy or wherever buy them at eBay or however you want to get them but it applies the dye quite a bit heavier which is I don't know maybe that's why I don't like it it seems wasteful but too you only need to do one coat usually There's a trick to these daubers too that I didn't do. If you take a take your lighter and just kind of go around it lightly, it'll usually get rid of all these stupid hairs. Hopefully they uh, won't affect anything for me here. So there's your first coat. It's going to take a lot longer for that to flash off. So uh, I'll be back when I'm ready to buff it out. All right, guys, ready to buff this off. And this will tell us just how good it got coated. Well, I gotta give it a good look, but uh, looks like it didn't do too bad a job. I'm not used to using the daubers, uh, but it does look black. All right, but I'm gonna give it a second, uh, a second wipe over anyway, uh, just because. So I'm going to let this sit and buff it off again and after that um, we're going to apply a sealer coat to it uh, either an acrylic resiline or a uh, super sheen I've used both both are good um, yeah so we'll be back in a bit when we're ready to do that um, I'm probably going to let the dye sit now overnight so I'll be back with you tomorrow this is applying your dye so when this flashes off again we'll just uh, give it another quick buffing so there you go that's where we're at so far tomorrow we'll put the uh, sealer on it and uh, the edge coat I like the edge coat uh, at least my holsters anyway so stay safe God bless we'll catch you next time around